T-minus, five minutes. T-97 test area is clear for static test. High-speed operators verify systems. All high-speed systems are streaming. Roger. T-minus four minutes. This is the test conductor. Report system status. Support systems are go for static test. Low speed systems are go. High speed systems are go. Motor temperatures are go. We are go for FSB-1 static test. T-minus three minutes. Low speed data operators begin recording. High speed data operators at T-minus 60 seconds begin recording. Report at that time. All low speed data systems are recording. Roger. T minus two minutes. T minus 90 seconds. T minus 80 seconds. Test control coordinator, stand by to commit the motor. Standing by. T minus 70 seconds. Commit the motor. Motor is committed. T-minus 60 seconds. All high-speed systems are recording. Roger. T-minus 50 seconds. T-minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 
fire. Chief has five seconds. Chief has ten seconds. T plus 20 seconds. T plus 30 seconds. T plus 40 seconds. Plus 50 seconds. Chief plus 60 seconds. Chief plus 70 seconds. Plus 80 seconds. Central Support Systems Operator, enable the Deleuze CO2 and Clinch Tool Controls. Enable. T plus 90 seconds. Open the Accumulator, enable valve. Accumulator is enabled. T plus 100 seconds. T plus 105 seconds. Activate at Deluge. Activated. T plus 10 sec, 110 seconds. Activate forward deluge. Activated. T plus 120 seconds. Activate head in CO2. Activated. Activate quench tool command forward and aft CO2. Activated. Plus one seventy seconds. High speed data operator stop recording. High speed recording is complete. Roger. Low speed data operator stop recording. Low speed data recording complete. Roger. Post fire crew report to the instrument room. Post fire crew report to the instrument room. Plus four
T plus five minutes. Wow, how amazing was that? And to see all of that power packed into those boosters. From our view, it looks like everything went great, but our engineers and technicians will continue to analyze the data and use it to improve future boosters on future Artemis missions. This test is not only about power, but really it's about the technical innovations that will help us explore the moon and Mars for generations to come. Now we're going to go hear from Northrop Grumman Vice President Charlie Precourt. As a four-time space shuttle astronaut, I know what it's like to fly the space shuttle rocket boosters. And the five-segment boosters will add far greater lift capability than the shuttle had. When those rocket motors light, you know you're going somewhere. I'd love to ride on the SLS and can't wait to hear the experiences of the first SLS astronaut crew. As Vice President of Northrop Grumman Propulsion Systems and a former NASA astronaut, it's important to me to ensure we have what is necessary to establish a presence on the moon and then go on to Mars. Testing our rocket boosters is how we can help ensure astronauts can explore space safely. Thank you so much for joining us for today's test.